Okay, hello. My name is Sal Granger. I'm the president of Magnetics Advances. <laughs> um, how are you today? Hi, um, I'm good. Uh, I'm Chris Carlson, the president of Audio Components. Um, I'm very eager to start this negotiation with you. And um, I want to thank you for uh, mentioning us or congratulating us for a product for C25. Uh, it has been um, very rewarding to know that uh, you guys want to, I mean, that it was a great product. It is a great product. And that you want, guys want to uh, negotiate with us and take care of this <laughs> and, you know, to sell the product. Um, uh, for El Tech. Yes, I must say we are very impressed with the technology. And, you know, I think that you've kind of done a very, very good job. And I think that both of our divisions, as well as El Tech as a whole, could really benefit from this product. I think that, you know, there's enormous potential for excelling it externally, which we can do through magnetic advances. And I think that by partnering together, we could really come to a mutually beneficial um, partnership. I definitely agree. <laughs> All right, so I was uh, putting some numbers there with my team, and uh, as you as you must know, uh, this took us um, uh, about twelve million on profit. Uh, I mean, twelve million on on research and, and development uh, for this product. And um, we definitely would like to get uh, immediately um, that amount. And maybe we can talk about after that on the percentage uh, of um, you selling us the product, as yes. well as we would like to have also some restrictions because we believe that you uh, guys selling um, this, um, you know, product to our competitors and, and as well to the external uh, or, or the other divisions of El Tech, uh, it will affect us, us as you as well. So let's see <laughs> some numbers. Yes, and you know, we've had some of our financial analysts put together some numbers as well on our side. I know that there was a huge investment for you, $12 million in three years to, you know, create this product. So we definitely want to, you know, compensate for that in addition to, you know, what we think, you know, the sales could be internally. Um, right. And, you know, we've done many calculations based off of um, different limitations on selling to competitors. And um, I kind of want to understand from you, like, what is most important um, from your point of view? Are you more concerned about the transfer price amount? Are you more concerned about the limitations on selling to competitors, whether it's your division in, um, only or the company as a whole? Right. Uh, well, we would like to, maybe we can start about um, talking about the transfer price and then we can move on seeing um, the limitations for the terms that we are looking in regards to selling to internal and external um, competitors so from our division. Okay. I mean, from my calculations that I came up, um, my financial analyst came up with, you know, mm -hmm. we took into consideration the $12 million that you have already invested in the product. Okay. Um, and then based off of our calculations, they expected that internal sales would be $20 million. Okay. And um, based off of that, and I know after this, you will have to purchase product back from us. And right. I'm not exactly sure, you know, how much, how many, you know, what your dollar value in sales is, but are, you know, purchasing the components from us. But I wanted to, you know, allow you to purchase it back from us at cost. So I was thinking of a transfer price of 40 million. Okay. Um. So that will be like a lifetime profit for for us. Uh, like if we can add up, um, that will be maybe as uh, fifty five million on a transfer price. So fifty five million, you would like? Yeah, because what happened is that 
we have done some calculations on if this is going to be a two year um uh, some the, the the product will be um you know it will take the time of the product of getting out there and all that um with us selling this product on um, this, this uh, certain time uh it will take about 55 million for us on profit so if you guys can offer us that um I mean, that, that will be something that you can consider. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, it definitely depends on um, the limitations on the competitors. So that kind of determines okay. our external profit. So um, we could definitely consider the 55 million transfer price. Um, okay. If we can lower the limitations on um, the competitors, selling to competitors. So are you more concerned with the selling to competitors of um, audio or are you concerned about the company as a whole? We are more, more uh, concerned about the direct competitors from audio. Mm -hmm. So maybe perhaps 12 months will be good for us. How about that? Okay, so um, would we be able to do 12 months for audio and then no limitation on um, external competitors? Um, for LTEC? Um, the seller, we would like to have some as well, perhaps um, six, six months. Six months? Yeah. Okay. Um, sorry, I have to do, redo my calculations. Sure. Um, would you be able to do 12 months for audio, six months for LTEC? at a transfer price of 50 million? Yes, I think that sounds right. Um, okay, so I guess we are good on that. Okay. <laughs> now let's see um, uh, the lifetime product that we could do uh, on regards to you guys selling us the product. Yes. Okay, so what you guys have in mind so, um, I mean, do you have an idea of how much product you would be purchasing from us? Uh, not exactly, but um, let me see. Because I know usually that there's like, usually between divisions, there's a 10% markup. Right. Between um, selling within divisions. But, you know, since you produce the product and everything, I, we would be willing to give it to you at cost. So whatever it costs us to make the product. Okay. And that will be so I believe it's um, I don't have the exact cost of what it is to make the product, but you know, I'm really hoping that since we like solely focus on magnets and everything, that okay. we'll also be able to drive those costs down, um, you know, compared to what it's cost you to make the product because you know we do have those efficiencies and the economies of scale to really use you know, our technologies to be able to drive the price down, the cost of the product. So that would also reduce the cost for you as well. Right. Okay, so um, how about, I was thinking like maybe get on, on a total of 67, including the transfer price. So, sorry, could you repeat that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it's um, how 67, much? including the transfer price. 67, right? Um, yeah. For the, including for us the to, right. I mean, included. <laughs> sorry. I'm just, um, I'm not sure how to like calculate the, um, the actual cost of selling you the product. Okay. So I don't know, like without knowing how much you're going to buy, it's hard to right. uh, include that in the transfer price. Uh, but, right. We were thinking like maybe getting this on a, on a, on an infund deal, right? And having, um, let me see how much it will be like, let's say, uh, let's call that a transfer price of 35 million and then uh let's do a deal of 32 million on 
a lifetime net profit um, with uh, 12 months um, preventing from selling to the uh, audio DX company uh, competitors and six months to L Tech divisions other than audio. Okay, so the total, so you're including the cost of the product that you're going to purchase from us right. in the transfer right. price? Right. Um, and so you're calculating at 67 million? Right. Um, so with that, at 67 million transfer price, I could either do 12 months a limitation on audios, right. but no limitation on LTEC. Or if you would like to do a six month limitation on both of them. For the 67 million? Yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> How about if we do, um, wait, can, can you repeat that again? So at 67 million transfer price, uh -huh. because um, cause before we were at 50, right? 50, yeah. Um, it would be, um, okay. <laughs> sorry. I think I'm just getting confused because the transfer price and the cost of the product is like in the right. same bucket. <laughs> right, right. Um, I don't know if we could like separate that or not. Yeah. Let's, let's separate that. And then let's put that 55 million on the transfer price. And I was thinking, Let's let's extract that number from that. That will be a twelve million. No, no, basically, yeah. So I'm just trying to see if there's any information on you know how much products you would need. You yeah. know, um, <laughs> if we could. Like, I'm not sure if that's included in the transfer price or not, if, because, you know, I think the amounts could vary. Right. Um, unless we could do, like, a percentage of how much. Oh, we could do a percentage, too. I yeah. Guess. Yeah. Because normally, um, you know, divisions make a 10% profit on internal sales. Right. So, you know, my offer was to, we would eliminate the profit and we would give it to you at cost. That, that's what we like to do. If you could do it at cost, that would be great, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So that should really. So how how will you um, on the cost on your offer if you were um, to do that? So I don't know how we would enter into the equation, to be honest. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I think that you know the main equation is going to be like the profit less the transfer price for me. Um, okay. And then I think that would be like a separate transaction, like between our two divisions, you know, we would just be selling it to you at cost instead of making any profit off of it. So we wouldn't make any profit off of it. It would just be like you were producing it, producing it externally and selling it to within the company. Okay. Uh. <laughs> So let's say um, because if I if I say uh, if if you if, if I say I'll get from you uh, sixty seven millions in total, deducting the fifty five of the transfer price, that'll make a twelve um, million of the in from profit, or like let's say from selling it to us. Okay. Um, so you want the transfer price to be sixty-seven million? No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm confused. That would be only for <laughs> in front that you guys would give us for the product. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So whatever you would purchase, it would just be like producing it. Yeah. Internally. 
Yeah. <laughs> so, so, um, so I think like the main things we have to decide are the, you know, the transfer price and then the limitations. And then, you know, the other decision, which I don't know if it's part of the calculation, but would be the, um, the purchase, the internal sales of the product. Okay. So uh, my team has put some numbers here. Uh, and then, um, according to what we are getting right now, it sounds like we will be fitting on uh, one of the options that we have here and, and they will benefit for both of us where uh, my natives will produce the C25 and you will be prohibited from selling it to audience direct competitors for 12 months and selling it to competitors of a tech divisions other than audio for six months. Um, will be 31 million on uh, profit, link from profit and plus the transfer price. Let's say um, that will be uh, 36 million and then as I was asking you on total that'll make a 67 million to pay in front. <laughs> Is that so uh, for you? So so you're um are you speaking so you're talking about one of the scenarios, right? Yeah. So that's how much you would make if Yeah, I, I would like to yeah. Because okay. I know, like, I know, like, I definitely want to make it beneficial for both of our divisions and for right. the company as a whole. You know, right. we don't want to have to get like top management involved, but we do want to come up with the uh, solutions that's best for everybody. So right. at the, so I would put the transfer price in at, um, right now I have it at 50, but is that what we decided on? Or, because I think the, your your other part might be separate. Because well, it's, it's, I would like to get uh, that amount together, in, right? And then, then that will be the 67 million, including the transfer profit. So you have the, because are you not including the um, reimbursement of the investment in the transfer price? Like, are you including that separately? No, I'm including that. You're including that, okay. So you're yeah. saying 67 million. Yeah. So it's, yeah, 67 million, I could, you know, do the audio limitation for 12 months. Okay. But I would not be able to do a limitation on LTech as a whole. Okay. Mm. If we reduce the transfer price, then I could do a limitation for LTech. But if you're more concerned with audio as limitation and your yeah. direct competitors, then I think maybe that would be a better because then you would get a higher transfer price, right? And you would get the twelve month limitation. And then I think it would be beneficial for both of us. Yeah, I guess that would be great. Yeah. Okay. Well, so. So we'll do the 67 million transfer price. Right. And the 12 month limitation on audio. Mm -hmm. And no limitation on LTEX competitors. Right. And, um, you know, when we do sell the products, it would be at cost. Right. Okay. That works for me. <laughs> so, how, how um, we, we, sh we should say on these, if we are saying the 67, um, if we have to divide, I mean, if we have to take out from that 67, the transfer price, we will say which option we have here, I think it's the 30, right? So we will say that we are getting the 30, the 30 million and then we are getting 37 on transfer price and we are getting um, 12 months uh, preventing the sales to audience direct competitors. All right. So, yeah. And so for me, it's scenario five. I don't know if it's the same scenario for you, but yes, it's the same it one. Okay, great. All <laughs> so right. Very nice well, working with you. Great. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right. You take Bye. care. Of me. Um. All right.